Hey guys, I got the dragon all put together, or the mini dragon put together. We're going to go ahead and uh, throw it up for the maiden flight and see what happens. Um, we're flying in the backfield today because the soccer field's busy, so here it goes. That's cool. Wow, what a That's kind of quiet. Uh -huh. We got some heavy winds today. How is it now? Is it much better? I turned the rates down. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, that plane's so light, it probably doesn't need much, you know, to push it. I think it's probably fly really good on a knock. On a calm day, yeah. Oh man, I think I need to change the color though. <laughs> Too much the same. So what is this thing, 11 ounces, Frank? 11? Yeah, 11.1. That's cool. Frank made a hoity hoity plane too. Nice and quiet too. That'll be a good one we can take in there. That's cool. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Now I lost the plane. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> because the sun too on this side. Uh -huh. Cool. Oh. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, I think if you put some canards on it, dude, on the front. Yeah. It'll help lock the front end in. Uh, it still doesn't like going slow. Once you slow it down, it might be that desk. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, coming up. Oh, no, good. Cut it in half, too. Huh? Oh, another one. <laughs> ah, in the brain. See, brain. Half. I got it on film too. Okay guys, as you've seen, the uh, first day of test flights didn't go really great. Um, I actually busted the plane in half, um, but it wasn't too bad. I was able to fix it pretty easy. I got home and I took some hot glue and glued it back together, and the plane's about ready to go out again. Um, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a little bit closer look at it and, and go over some of the features and some ideas I have on changes that I want to do to the plane. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the new Mini Dragon. Okay, the new Mini Dragon is built quite different from most of the planes that I build. Um, because I wanted to make it a slow flyer, I had to try to make it as light as I could. Um, that, and especially since I'm not going to be not running a very powerful system on this, um, the motor is only pulling about 135 watts. So the plane needs to be pretty light in order for it to stay in the air. Um, so I didn't bulletproof this one with the weave like I normally do. And that's pretty much why it busted in half when I crashed it. Um, it's also made out of a lot thinner foam than I'm, what I'm used to, used to making it out of. Uh, the wing is made out of 8mm EPP and so is the body. And it's all hollow inside. Um, the hatch is just held on with magnets. And the battery sits in there on a piece of velcro and can be slid back and forth um, to adjust the center of gravity of the plane um, but this made the plane pretty weak in, especially in this area here because there's no bracing to support it um, I may do some changes to try and reinforce the plane maybe add a carbon fiber spar down the middle of the bottom of the fuselage and I'm also thinking about 
adding a couple canards like Paul suggested to the front of the plane to help stabilize it while it's flying slow. Uh, the plane seemed like it flew pretty good once it was moving, but every, whenever I tried to slow it down, it would just do one of those crazy spins and crash. Um, and I'm thinking that's just mainly part of the characteristic of a forward swept wing. And also, I experimented with the rear stabilizer on this one. I made it forward swept as well. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. But um, I may change that as well. I might put a regular style rear stabilizer on the plane as well. So my plans are to add some front canards. At first, they're probably just going to be stationary ones. Because like I said, I don't want to add too much weight to the plane. I want to try and keep it light because I still want it to be a more of a slow flyer than a speed plane. Um, who knows, maybe in the future I might change my mind and uh, decide to put something different on there. But I would like this plane to be something that's slow and relaxing to fly. Something that I can fly after I fly my really fast planes. Um, I like the way it turned out. Um, it looks pretty nice. Um, the color scheme worked out fairly good. It was a little bit difficult to see in the back field where we were flying because of the sun being in my eyes. Um, but basically that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be adding some canards onto it and probably changing the rear stabilizer, making maybe make it a little bit larger and more traditional style instead of a forward swept, just a regular rear stabilizer. Um, other than that, I probably will, like I said, add a spar underneath the bottom of it also to give it more support. So hopefully, hopefully the canards will make it better in the slower flight and it won't crash like it did. Actually, the crash on that second flight was due to, it seemed like the battery might not have been fully charged. It didn't feel as powerful as it did the first flight. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the plane. And just give you guys a little bit closer look at everything. Um, I used some non-metal gear servos. These are actually HTX servos from Hobby City, the 9... 900s, the ones that are popular, they're like three dollars for per servo, and I'm using a lot skinnier control rods. Everything on this plane was built to make it light, um, and it weighs in at about 11.1 ounces right now. So the mods that I'm going to do to it will probably add a little bit more weight, but it should still probably be around 11 and a half ounces or less. Anyway. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, finish the video up here and hopefully I'll be having it back in the air soon with the modifications. I just wanted to say uh, thanks to everybody for watching RC Foam Fighters and I'll see you guys again soon.